How you doing everyone? Scott here and this is going to be my contest entry for Jeff Kempen and his 100 subscribers contest. Um, although he's absolutely smashed the 100 subscribers now. Um, but, amazing channel. Um, Jeff's channel is one of those channels I go to, I've said this before in videos, I'm trying to kind of mentally branch out and broaden my taste in music because 99.9% .9 of the stuff I show on my channel is heavy metal or hard rock and um, Jeff's one of those channels that I go to um, just to see what people are showing because people speak so passionately about their collections and um, Jeff's no exception. The one thing I would say is it's one of those channels I watch but I don't comment on because a lot of the stuff Jeff shows is really not um, directly in my taste and I've not heard of a lot of the albums he shows so I don't want to come across stupid because I don't know, really know what I'm talking about so I just like to sit back and watch and see what he shows a bit like um, Andrew from Tales from the Crate um, I do the kind of same with him as well so anyway still a great channel um, well deserved on the subs mate um, so the contest Jeff wanted me to or wanted us to show Eight albums um, from either, well, eight albums and the year has got to end in an eight. So it's called Crazy Eights. So it could be from 68, 78, 88, 98, whatever, as long as the year ends in eight. So I have just gone for 1988 all the way through. Um, massive fan of 80s rock. So I thought, I'll just put all mine, all my eggs in one basket and uh, go with 1988. So I'm going to get started. Now, the first one I'm going to, the first album I'm going to show, you'll have seen a hundred times, even in your contest, especially from the metal guys. So I'm going to get that one out of the way first. And it's going to be Queensryche and Operation Minecraft. Um, I am not going to go into any detail about this album you've probably seen it like I said about a hundred times just it's just an amazing album concept album um, and definitely worth a listen if you haven't listened to it already so that is the first one right that one is out of the way uh, next one I'm going to show is from Ozzy Osbourne and this could be a bit controversial to some but this is my favourite album. Never mind Buzzard of Oz or Diary of a Madman. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. And it's No Rest for the Wicked. Which is strange because this album kind of slipped through the net with me for a long time. Um, I was really focused on his early 80s stuff and his mid 80s stuff. And I finally gave this a listen, picked it up on CD, and it's just insanely good. Um, just awesome. 10 out of 10. Easy. So if you've not heard this album, uh, check it out. It's it's just great. So that's that one. Uh, next one is from another frontman of rock who went solo. And it's David Lee Roth and his second release, Skyscraper. Um Definitely not as good as his debut, Eat Him and Smile, but still a solid set of songs on here, um, in my opinion. Um, especially, the song that really turned me on to this album is um, the big radio hit, Just Like Paradise. Um, just an awesome song. And it is, like I said, not as good as his debut, but still worth checking out. Although it does have one of the worst covers in the history of music. I mean... David Lee Roth climbing up a rock is, it's not that rock and roll, is it? So, um, that's uh, my third choice. Uh, next up is from uh, Vinnie Vincent Invasion, and it's their second release with All Systems Go. Um, really great. Love both of their albums. Um, I think it was after this album 
um, the vocalist Mark Slaughter and uh, bass player Dana Strum split off and formed the band Slaughter. Um, they brought out their first uh, album in 1990, I think. But yeah, definitely worth checking out if you're into your 80s hard rock um, and check out their debut as well. So that's that one. Uh, next up is from Rat and it's Reach for the Sky. Um, Rat are one of those bands I think are greatly underappreciated, especially here in the UK because we didn't they didn't really get much radio play or anything like that over here. Um, so, yeah, I think they just, in this point in our career, just really hit stride and um, just gave all they got. And this is just an awesome album. And to be honest, I like all of Rat's albums. So, that's Rat and Reach for the Sky. Uh, the next one is going to be a reissue, so I don't know if that's cheating, but you can let me know. But it was originally released in 1988, and it's from uh, Crimson Glory. This is their second release, and probably their most popular release. Um, greatly thought of in the metal um, community. Um, and it's, it is, a, there's no surprise, because there's, it's, a, it's amazing. Um, I just love this band, especially their first two albums. This is their second release. Um, their debut was released in 1986, which is also worth checking out if you like progressive metal. Um, vocalist Midnight has just got soaring vocals. Um, they could shatter, window shatter windows. Um, but yeah, just awesome. So That's Crimson Glory and Transcendence. Um, second to last... I have a band that were um, ridiculed on Beavis and Butthead and you probably worked it out as winner and their um, debut self-titled release from 1988. Um, although they did get the piss taken out of them, it's still a really, really solid album. Um, songs you might recognise, 17, controversial, um, they did a cover of Purple Haze and they also brought out the ballad Headed for a Heartbreak which closes the album so yeah really solid and that is my seventh choice and my last pick is probably going to be my favourite from 1988 and it's also a reissue um, and it's from Iron Maiden and it's Seventh Son of a Seventh Son, which I'd like to rename Eighth Son of an Eighth Son, just to tie in with your contest. Um, but anyway, really, really awesome album. I mean, this is a perfect album for me. Perfect album. Um, another concept album, um, and every song on this album does it for me. Um, this features... Um, can I Play With Madness, which there's a lot of people out there who hate that song. I really like it. Um, it doesn't affect the album at all for me. I still love that song. Um, yeah, and just definitely Iron Maiden just hit their peak um, on this album. They never made anything close to this. Um, and I don't think they ever will. Um, I, mean, their, I mean, their early albums were great but this it just, this just stands out a mile for me easily so that's Iron Maiden and Seven Son of a Seven Son so that is my eight choices um, again well done Jeff um, I'm sure you're going to smash your next subscriber milestone um, I will keep on watching and good luck with your contest and I'll see you guys soon cheers <laughs>